Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! Let's implement a small but very useful feature that many websites have. Right now we can log into our application, the problem is that we do not have the Remember Me option available. So let's take a look at it. What are the requirements for this feature? So first we need the checkbox and second we need the required backend code to implement it. So because we are using Sentinel we do not have to do much because Sentinel will do it for us. However, I will start by including the checkbox first. So inside the login blade, I will scroll down right here. So after the password, I will copy this code, I will paste it, and I will first of all delete the span, and I will change the type to checkbox. And we also can get rid of the class form control. Also the placeholder and the required are not necessary. Okay, so the name for this one will be remember underscore me. Also, right here we can have the text, so remember me. I will save, I will go back, and here it is. Okay, so now that we have this available, I will go to the controller. So the controller is a login controller. Actually, let me show you what Authenticate accepts. So we are using the Authenticate method, right? So what this requires? Well, first of all, from the documentation we see that it accepts the credentials, which makes sense because we want to authenticate. And also a second argument which is the remember argument and by default it is false. So before we go inside this if here I want to create a variable. And I will set it to false by default. Now before we continue I want to see what happens when we click the checkbox and what happens when I don't. So what I will do is to return the request right here. So return request all. So I will try to authenticate the, the email and the password do not really matter because we do not even get to this if we return right here. So if I click the remember me login, you can see the remember me has the value on. However, if we do not check this, then we do not get it at all. So you can see that the remember me is not here anymore. So this is good because all we have to do is to check if the remember me is set or not. So here we can have the if statement and as a result the remember me variable will always have a true or false value. So right here I will say if is set the request remember me. So if this is set then I will change the remember me to true. And of course we have to take this and move it inside the try catch and below the remember me. Like this. So as a result this remember me will always have a value true or false. We do this because the second argument is a boolean. As you can see here the type is a boolean. So what I have to do now? Well very easy I have to pass it right after this. So remember me. Perfect. Actually not, it is not there, sorry about this. So you have to pass it right after this one. Okay. Oh my god, I have a chocolate right on my desk right now and I'm so tempted to take a bite. Anyway. So from the documentation, we can see that Sentinel will create a remember me cookie. So as long as everything works, you don't really have to clear your cookies. However, I have already done it myself, so you can just see the result on my screen. So at this moment, we have two cookies from Laravel. The cookies are the XSRF token and the Laravel session. Uh, I'm using Google Chrome, so if you are not using Google Chrome and you use something else, like Firefox for example, I guess there is another way to get the, the stored cookies. But anyway, so if you're using Google Chrome, this is where you can get them. You have to go to your settings, and then you have to go to content settings and then all cookies and site data. And here is your cookies. So first I will log in without clicking the checkbox. So actually let me remove the return right here so we can continue with the application. I will get this email, back to this, log in. The password like always is secret so I will not check this, okay? And I will click log in. We are authenticated, however, the cookies remains too. 
Now let me log out and try to log in again and I will check the remember me checkbox. Log in again, we are authenticated and if we go here, you can now see that we have three cookies and one of them is the Cartalist Sentinel. 